Hey, it's Alicia here from New VA Advice, and today I'm going to show you how to take videos that you have on Facebook and download them and turn them into MP4 video files. So why would you want to do this? First of all, as a VA, content marketing is a great way to get out there uh, information about who you are and what you do and to get known by potential clients. So when you create great content, like a video, for example, it's great to repurpose and share that other places. So for example, you made a video for your Facebook page, let's say, uh, you can repurpose that, put it on your YouTube channel, make a YouTube channel if you don't have one, and share it there as well. You can also offer this as a service to your clients. So if they work with video, you can help them repurpose that content. So we're going to cover two things today. We're going to look at if the video is on a Facebook page and also if the video is in a private Facebook group because it's two different ways to handle downloading that and turning it into an MP4 video file. So we're going to start with Facebook page. So this is my new VA advice business Facebook page. I'm going to choose a video. Let's go to videos, scroll down, just going to pick one. You need to open the video. I'm going to pause it before it starts playing there. Go to the video, right click. You see this option show video URL. That's what you want. Click on that. Here's your video URL. Click in the box and then copy that. Now we want to convert this. We have a URL for our Facebook video, but we want to make this an MP4 video file. So there are a number of different downloading tools and software that you can use online. Currently I'm using this fbdown.net to convert my Facebook videos that are from a page. So I'm going to click in here. It says enter Facebook video link and I'm going to paste that link in here and click download. Please watch when you use any of these tools. Um, first of all, I use Google Chrome and I have security settings on here. You may get other things that pop up around the page that are going to want you to click on them. Don't click on the other things on the pages. Okay. Just, um, you know, pay attention and, and look at the options that you have and note that these are just, these are ads. Sometimes they'll say, you know, download now or click here. So I just don't want you to get distracted by what else is on there and think that that's what you need to do. Um, so right here, it's converted my video for me. And right here, you see it's right above the ads. So you have to be careful. It says download video in normal quality. I'm going to click on that. And here's my video. It's bringing it up in a new window for me. Now, if I right click on this video, save video as, look at that. There's my MP4 file. I can now change the name. I can save it anywhere I want on my computer. And then I have an MP4 video file of a video that I have on Facebook. Okay, so that's part one. That is how to handle it if you had a video on a Facebook page. So this would work for business page, public profile, anything of that nature. Now, what if you have a private group like I do here with the Virtual Assistant Empowerment Facebook group? When you shoot, if you record a video within the group, and then you try to download that elsewhere, it will tell you that the information is private because it was recorded in a private group and it will not release that to you. So if you want that file anyway, there are ways to get it. Now, I do want to say though, please note, don't take something out of someone else's group if that is not permitted. Okay, so if you're in a group with someone and they've shared private information or maybe someone was teaching on a topic, the group owner, for example, and it is to stay in that group and it is private for a reason, please keep it that way. Don't take their information. I'm making this video really for you to get your own information. So this is my group and I want to get my own video. Or if you're working for a client and they've given you permission, maybe they've shot a video in their, you know, they recorded maybe a Facebook live, for example, in their private Facebook group. And they would like you to take that out of there, extract the file and turn it into an MP4 video that they can repurpose elsewhere. That's fine because you have that person's permission. So just wanted to make that point not to go into someone else's group and take proprietary information or something that is marked as private, you know, 
if you're in a private, secret, or closed group, there's a reason for that, and you need to respect the, the rules of the group owner. So with that being said, this is my private group, Virtual Assistant Empowerment Group. And let's say I want to take a video out of here. So I'm going to click on my videos again, just like I did before. I'm just going to choose any one of these and stop it from playing. Now, again, I can right click and get my URL. Oh, no, that's right. I don't have to do that in this case. So when I did that, it shows me the URL right up here. But there's a really great tool that can help me from here. I just have to follow the directions. So I use this get FB stuff and the link is getfbstuff.com forward slash Facebook private video downloader. Okay. Uh, now again, you have to watch, there's a bunch of ads and that says start now, get started. That's not what you want. What I like is they give you step-by-step -step directions right here as to how to get what you need in order to get your video. So ignore the, you know, the ad pieces and just let's follow these steps one by one. So it says right click on the Facebook video and open it in a new tab. So we had our video. Hold on, I'm thinking my video, uh, that particular one wasn't working properly. So I'm going to right click just like I did before, show video URL. Now I have my video URL. I'm going to copy that. What do my directions say? Right click on the video. It wants me to open that in a new tab. I'm going to click open a new tab and paste my video URL and hit enter. So here's my video in a new tab. All right, what's my next step? In the URL box, I have to replace www with the letter M. So let's go back up here. Look, it says www.facebook. I'm going to delete the www. I need an M. I'm going to hit enter again. You see it changed the link. It changed this whole format here. Okay. Next step, press control U to see the page source. So I'm going to go on this page. I'm going to click control U. So here's the source info for my page. Now let me go back and read the next part of the directions. Press control A to select all and then control C to copy the page source. Now, if you're working on a Mac, it gives you the directions right here, but I'm on a PC and I'm using Google Chrome. So I'm going to hit control A and then control C to copy all of that information. So I'm going to click on the page, control A, control C. Okay. Now, what does it tell me to do next? Now there's a box below right here. It says press control V inside the box and it's going to paste the page source info down here. So now I'm going to press control V. There's my page source info. And you see, I have a download button down here. Again, don't be distracted by the ads with this get started and all that. That's not what you're looking for. Click download. Okay. Sorry, hit a little snag there. Uh, but this is what you'll see besides all of the many ads. You have an option to download the video. And then, of course, you can go in and download another one. So I'll say download video. And again, it's showing me my video. I can right click, save video as, and there we go. MP4 file. I can change the name. I can save it anywhere I want to on my computer. Okay, so that is how you use other tools and sources to be able to go in, take a video from Facebook, whether it's a public or private page or group, download them and convert it to an MP4 format so that you can then share and repurpose your content other places. I hope that was helpful and I will talk to you all soon. Thanks.